Alright guys, what is up? Jane Poop here with a brand new playthrough and we are going to be playing... Super Mario Galaxy! Oh my god, yes! What a wonderful game this is. Uh, for the release originally on the Nintendo Wii back in 2007 or 2008 in Korea as Super Mario Wii Galaxy Adventure. And... Um, and then uh, ported to uh, the Nvidia Shield uh, in shot for China in 2017 or 2018. It's one of those years. And then for the Nintendo Switch via Super Mario 3D All-Stars in 2020. So yeah, what a wonderful game this is. And not only that, I've also bought something good for this playthrough that I'm going to do in almost every video of Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. So, I've got some... Tasty Chocolate Galaxy! Alright, let's see what it is. Opening it up. Yep. And then... It's a galaxy bar! <laughs> yep. Meeting galaxy while playing this game. Yep. It totally makes sense, right? Oh. Save that chunk for later. Let's go. So, with the file select screen, uh, I am playing on the Switch version, so... You can see we got heads as files, yes! And I've already completed the game in this Mario file. We've got a Luigi file here. Uh, you unlock the Luigi head when you um, unlock Luigi, uh, when you unlock Super Luigi Galaxy in this game, which is what we're gonna do. Um, so you go on to a completed file, 120 stars, make sure two crowns complete. Uh, this doesn't matter. And then you click this. And then, yeah, but to create a file, this is what you do. You go on an empty file here, we go on six. I'm gonna click yes. And then you choose your head from here. Uh, in the Wii version, you could have Miis, but in the Switch version, you can't. And then you would just select a head, uh, a character's decapitated head, and then, there we go, there's Mario. And then there's nothing else. And then, and this is what it's like when you delete it. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Uh, you can change the icon as well. Uh, and this is the only way you, you're gonna able to have the Luigi one, unfortunately. It's not for a new file, unfortunately, so... You can also copy files. I would I'm gonna do this uh, throughout playthroughs. I'll probably copy it to this one there. So, yeah. So, off we go. We're going to do Super Luigi Galaxy. Now, there is one part of the game where we cannot do it as Luigi. We only do it as Mario, and that is the intro stage. So, I'm going to put... Because I've already recorded myself doing that. And, we're, uh, and you're going to see that first, and then you're going to see the gameplay with Luigi. So, let's get going! Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became the Great Power Star. It should have been very a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Okay then, so here we go with Super Mario Galaxy then, so, uh, so uh, as, as you can see here, I am on the Switch version of the game, uh, which is on uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, um, and we're playing as Mario here, uh, uh, for the intro unfortunately, because uh, you cannot do that with Luigi, because we are going to play as Luigi for that, this playthrough. But this intro stage is only playable with Mario. Uh, you don't get this with Luigi. 
So what we're going to do, I'm going to get these star bits. Uh, that's what these are. And we got toads here that say stuff. Yeah. And then I'm going to go through all of this right here. Okay. And then, um, yeah, other controls here is that you can shoot the star bits uh, like that. You can also keep the cursor in place in the Switch version as well. Which you couldn't do on the Wii. Um, now let's go here and get a cutscene. Love how these cutscenes are now HD. Oh my god, Bowser's airships a lot. A lot of them. And the toads are being froze. Yep, tons of ships. There's Princess Peach and the two toads. What is Peach holding there? It's like a plushie. like a UFO. I don't know if it is, but... And the toads are stuck, so we cannot do anything. So, poor toads. Poor toads. Look at them running there. Um, so we got these cannonballs that we got to be careful of. Help me! Uh, there's still some star bits we can get, I think. I'm not sure if there is, though. We can go through here, or we can go through the grass. I'm going to go through the grass. Why not? Then let's save Peach. But we're interrupted by this UFO cutscene again. What is it doing? It's just circling around. Oh! Oh, they're going to take the castle up, aren't they? <laughs> they've lifted it up. They have to get that many airships just to live a big-ass castle. God, it's in space. Let's just hope they survive in space, because usually you die if you don't wear a help in space. And then, Mario tries to get her, but there's Kamek Magic Cooper. So long, enjoy your flight, Mario. Go to hell! Oh no. Mario! No! I finally got the princess though. Who's gonna stop me? Oh, hey Luigi. What a wonderful planet we're on! I turn into a bunny. Finally, you're awake! Let's play! 
<laughs> so with Luigi, he does he controls similarly to Mario, but the difference between him and Mario is that um, he moves faster, he jumps higher, but he has slippery movements, so it's like he's on ice. Uh, uh, so it meaning the game is slightly easier and harder at the same time when we go with the three bunnies. Let's play hide and seek! If you catch all of us, I'll tell you about where you are! Kinda sounds like Mickey Mouse to be honest, but okay. Uh, so, so we gotta catch these bunnies! And we just go in the places and then we just catch the bunnies! So, let's go here. Oh, you caught me! And then... Ah, uh, I knew I should have been hidden in the crater. Alright, these are Loomers. Yes, that's their name, Loomers. And, uh, they're basically stars. Uh, we'll find more about them later. We go in this pipe. Not only classic Mario style, but we find another bunny! Hello, bunny! There we go. Come here! Ah, new in the crater. Right, I believe the they give hints on where the other bunny is. So we need to go in this hole. No, not this one. It's the other one. But we found it there. Ah, oh, you didn't even get that coin, Luigi. Come on. We go in this one. Nope, you can't kill yourself in there. You're automatically pulled out, and then there's the other bunny. I can't believe I got myself get caught. And it's a white loom. Wow, you caught all of us! Maybe you really can help Mama! Oh, you have a mommy? Okay. <laughs> I don't like how I said it like that. And they build a castle right here. Or a palace, whatever you call it. And usually you would climb up here, but with Luigi, he's got a higher jump, so... I don't want to speak to the Luma, come on! We go up here, we meet this new character. Who most of you are probably familiar with. I've been, I've been watching you from here. This place is the gateway to the starry sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. With Luma? <laughs> Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with this cave. Oh, yeah. And we get the awesome power! You have the ability to spin now! Shake your nun uh, either Nunchuck or Wii Remote or your Joy-Cons for your Switch. But you can also spin with by pressing the Y button on Switch. And I think another button on Nvidia Shield. Disaster has stripped us, just as I had you visitors. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the sh stars shine on you. And then she fades away. Into space. So yeah, Rosalina was introduced in this game, yeah. You have this Luma here. Oh yeah, you just, uh, so we just do that. You can shake any of them, it doesn't matter, but you can also press the Y button. Oh, or the X button also works, apparently, okay. We do that to then get this launch star. And then we shake it again, or press any buttons. To then, so then we launch ourselves to another planet. So this is our second planet. Oh, oh God. Good to see you! Alright, I'm not gonna read that. Okay, so star chips are like new things in this game. These will um essentially bring new launch stars, or shorter ones called sling stars. Um and there are also blue star chips uh in the game as well. They do other types of stars. So we get a launch star there. Up here we got a one-up. Yeah, and, and an additional Luigi! Okay, they call it additional Luigi's. I guess it's additional Mario if you play as Mario, so, okay. Uh, let's go here. Uh, this is basically like a training level, so... We have these Goomers, which if you spin, uh, they drop coins. Even if you jump on them, they'll drop coins. If you do this, though, they'll make them dizzy, then kick them, and then they bring Star Bits, because these are like different miniature Goomers, I think. They have, like, different sounds as well. Uh, let's go here. I think we need to speak to this Luma first. Get me out of here! What are they? I don't have the key! Oh, uh, yeah. So then, we need to find... 
Oh, there he is. There's the oh, look, there's the normal Goombas. And this one, you have to hit twice. And this one brings a key. Usually you'll get Starvitz, but this one has a key. So now we gotta go up here to this Luma. And then you'll transform to a Sling Star. Yeah, that's what a Sling Star is. They just launch you not farther away, but... Oh, right. Right, so I'm gonna try and get these Goombas. Um... Because I want to try and get as many star bits as possible, so... Uh, now as Mario, you can ha you would have more star bits because of the uh, castle grounds uh, level. But with Luigi, you don't ever play that level. Uh, so even if you... Uh, uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, even though you're starting a new game with Luigi... Uh, so it's basically like New Game Plus, but not really. So, you could think of Luigi as hard mode, because, obviously, although easier jumping and faster movement, uh, uh, the, the ice physics make it slightly difficult to navigate, so... Oh, there's a miniature Goomba, and I need more star bits, so I'm gonna go to him first. Gotcha! Ho, ho, ho! Oh, there's a massive Goomba here. We need to use that, and then kick him! And then we got uh, a key. We saved the Luma and a pipe. Okay. Uh, where's the other Goomba? I can't see where the other Goomba is. <sighs> I like doing that. This is the only stage to have these as well. Oh, oh, god damn it. One health left. Okay. Uh, Goomba, you're stuck. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think that's enough Goombas. Oh, we got 50. That gives us one up. Here. You get 50 star bits, you'll get a 1-up, and then uh, 50 more, then you'll get a 1-up again. We're inside the planet. We've been waiting for you! That's a Grand Star, we have to save it! They're using the Grand Star to power the awful machine, it looks like it's making something. Making what? <laughs> Alright. So what we got to do is we got to save the Grand Star, so and I recommend getting these coins. Oh god! Oh, that was so close. Okay. Oh god! No! Alright, um. Oh, 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 Luigi, get up there, good boy. Alright. Uh, no, 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 Make it blue. There we go. This is also the only time we make switches blue. Because other times we make them, we make them yellow. We step on them blue and then make them yellow. Um. Okay. And then. Turn off the I know. <laughs> Luigi's ducking down. Alright, so I'm gonna eat. Uh, in fact, I'm not gonna have my galaxy bar yet. Mm. We have this grand star right here. But first, I need to murder this Goomba for more star bits. Is there more Goombas anywhere? No, 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 don't do that, Luigi! Well, there's more coins. Um, not that coins are... The coins are not that important, other than for get re regaining health and getting extra lives. Uh, other than that, they're not really useful in this game. You can also bounce on these, uh, twice. Or three times. Oh, but, but, Luigi, I want to try and do something. You can also homing on these. Uh, to do that, so then, yeah, it's recommended you do that on enemies. And we got. You got a Grand Star, or in the Japanese and Korean versions, it says Grand Star gets. Yes, it's just like Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, they have that difference again. So. Welcome to a brand new place. This is the hub world for Super Mario Galaxy. I'm gonna eat another galaxy. Ooh. 
we open this place up. You've got a star. Uh, it's the Gateway Galaxy, this was, and it's the Grand Star Rescue. Okay, we increased our star bit count. We discovered a new galaxy! Something new in the terrace. Is that what we unlocked? The beacon is lit again! It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as Chaos Six Star. But at least the poor Loomis will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home of the Loomis. You see, we travelled the starry skies. We pass by this area once every hundred years, but we suddenly stop in front of this planet. A strange force has latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, power stars. Our ship and lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please. I have a request. This observatory uses star power to protect images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there's a chance we can use a few remaining stars to look for the other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now powered by the grand uh, power star you was restored is this one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's abilities to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can preserve if thieves who ran off with the power stars. And Luigi's like, mmm, <laughs> okay. And yes, we can save our game. And this is what it's like when you save. Yep, it's just a simple save. Now, before we go in the terrace, because I'm not going to go to the new galaxy today, but we might show off the terrace, but we're not going to do the new galaxy today in this video. Yeah. Let's explore more of this observatory. So we've got, uh, also, if you think of dying, no, it doesn't let you here. You have to be back on land. So, yeah, if you thought of killing yourself here, no, you can't do that. So, yes, go here. Open this box, it contains a 1-up. This always has a 1-up in it. And, uh, let's go here. So that's the terrace. And, um... Uh, in fact, I'll give out the names now. So, we can't go up to this one yet, I don't think. Oh, can we do this? Oh, yes! With Luigi, we can go here. So, that is the fountain. Uh, because it's sort of full of water. Is there anything behind here? No, there isn't. Uh... But that's about it here. No, don't fall down, Luigi. No, no, no. That's naughty, Luigi. Okay. This triple jump is slightly higher as well, so that's good. We'll go to the terrace in a moment. But first, we'll explore more of this place. It's mostly black because we can't see anything. Uh, so that right there is the library. We'll mention that later. Uh, up here is yet another dome. Well, first, there's a 1-up here as well. Uh, oh, there isn't a 1-up there, but later there will be a 1-up. Right, just fall. So then you go up there. There we go. Okay. It is sometimes useful if you want to go back to other places. Right, that's the kitchen right here. It's made full of bricks. So, yes. And then, we got... No! Luigi! Stop trying to kill yourself! Okay. Uh, that doesn't work yet. Then here, uh, I don't know if you can see it properly, but here is another dome. This is the bedroom. Uh, I guess this is where Rosalina sleeps with her loomers. <laughs> okay, just kidding. <gasps> Alright. They probably sleep separately. Or does Rosalina use loomers as pillows? Now, usually you can't get up here yet, but... With... with you can do this with Mario as well. But this glitch, I don't know if it's a glitch or a trick, but it works on any slope that you slide on. You hold, say I'm holding down now, and then I press jump, and then I can do that. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So, 
So now we're up here. And then here, this dome right here, is the engine room. And this is what we need to power up all of the, um... Uh... Power up all of the Comet Observatory. Oh, we can go here. There we go. And we can get this early, when you're supposed to get it later. So we can always warp up here. Uh, not that there's a reason for it, but okay. Uh, and then we can't quite go there and up there yet, but that is something special. And then, up here is another dome, the last dome. This is the garden, strangely enough. You'll find more about that later. Uh, so, and there's also another one of these up there as well that you can activate. So then, uh, I don't know if we can get up here now with Luigi, actually. I don't think we can, right. Alright, we'll just uh, stay down here then. Uh, so, yes, um, now let's go and have a brief visit to the terrace, shall we? Welcome, this dome acts as an eye of a laboratory from here. We, you can gain the world galaxies. Once the globe transforms into a pole star, you'll guide you to a faraway galaxy. I know. Alright. Yeah, in handheld mode, you'll have to touch the screen. So yeah, that is a pole star, and then we just touch it to float. And bring up this menu. These are galaxies that can be observed from this dome. Uh, the number represents the distance of the, from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you'll find. <laughs> so we can only go to one right now. We don't have enough stars. And these are question marks, so these are like bonus galaxies. And the Bowsers are like the final galaxies for every dome. So let's go to this one. Uh, a new galaxy has appeared. We just click that. We open a new galaxy and it's called Good Egg Galaxy. And then you go to the preview. Yes, it's all that. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the galaxy. But I warn you that the evil energy regions are uh, the charts, so be careful. So, yeah, and then you get the preview of the galaxy, and then a nice little image there. But we'll go there in the next video, so. And then when you get out of the dome, this is what it's like. Yeah, it's just simple. And I think you can actually get that one up again. Because I think they respawn when you go in and out of a dome. Oh my god, they do! So, uh, good job doing a 1-up grinding here, if you wish. I think there's also a 1-up underneath the observatory as well, uh, I believe. Uh, uh, why did you do that, Luigi? Come on. Um, you can also stand on this for no reason. There we go. Stand on this for no goddamn reason. Uh, uh, the camera won't move! Come on! And I thought there was a one up here, unless it appears later. I think it appears later. So, yeah, um, oh god. I think that'll be it for today's video then, guys. So, uh, I guess next time on Super Mario Galaxy, I will not only eat more Galaxy chocolate bars, but I would also, we'll also start the new galaxy, which is Good Egg Galaxy. Uh, oh, also, if you pause the game, this is what you get. Uh... And you can also quit to save the game, and all that. But for some reason, you need to save first before quitting. I don't know why they let you quit without saving. Ah, huh, whatever. Uh, and, yeah, we'll do that in the next video, so hopefully we will uh, go through uh, the game more. So I should see you guys next time, Jim. See you guys next time. Bye!